So you've decided to bleach your hair, and I have too, obviously. So whether you're rocking the platinum look or you're just creating a canvas for another color, I have some tips for you on how to fight the brassiness and the frizz. Howdy guys, Abby, welcome back. So after my breakup a couple years ago, I started bleaching and dyeing my hair. Can you believe that some people just dye their hair because they want to and not because of some unresolved trauma? Weirdos. I actually made a video a while back about how I bleach my hair with less damage. I'll link to it in the description of this video and also link to it at the end, so go check that out after you finish this one. So there are quite a few different things that you can use to help with your hair, but I'm going to talk about my few favorite ones. So right away after you rinse out the bleach, you'll probably notice that your hair is not snow white like you want it to be, it's going to be a little bit yellow. This is totally normal, so please do not keep trying to bleach over it and to get it to turn white because it's not going to happen. That's a quick, fast way to make your hair fall out. As you can see my hair right now, I just bleached it a few days ago. It was grown out to about here, however long this is. I had another color over top of it. Well, that faded and it was like this. We can watch my previous videos like from just a few episodes ago. It was kind of like a light brownish, but it was supposed to be the rose gold, so then it faded and the ends turned green. So I wanted to do my roots and I just went ahead and put some more over the ends to try to get the green out. There's still a little bit of green left, unfortunately, right here. But then it kind of stuck to my roots, or where my roots were growing out a little bit. I think more of the pink stuck there. So when I did that, I kind of looked like I needed to do it again on my roots, but I decided to wait a week because you should do that anyways. You should wait at least a week before processing, putting bleach on your hair to let your hair kind of relax a little bit. So it is best to be on the side of caution and rinse your bleach out too early and have to do it again a week later rather than leave it on too long and fry it. Which is what I thought I did. I thought I rinsed it out too early, but it was actually just needed toner and also your hair kind of looks darker when it's wet anyways. So how to get rid of that brassy color? The answer is pretty simple. Purple. So there's a few different purple shampoos on the market out there. I know Paul Mitchell has one. They are cruelty free but they are a little bit pricey. And then what I used to do before I discovered this new stuff is made my own toner with a purple semi-permanent hair dye and conditioner. I just mixed like one singular drop of the dye into a little bit more conditioner than I would usually use just to make sure I had enough to totally saturate my hair. I believe I put that in the video that I mentioned earlier, so go check that out. But Pacifica recently came out with these uh, purple shampoo and conditioner. They're the Sunshine Highs Toning Shampoo and Conditioner. Not sponsored, I bought these. They're both purple. They're pretty bright. You can, well, you can see on this one's kind of a, been leaking because this is really thin. It's not so, it's, it's saturated, but it's not so intense that it's gonna like sting and everything. I was afraid because when I was using it for the first time, it kind of splattered all over the place and it was like on the shower and it's, I was like, oh no, this is gonna be bad. But it actually wasn't so pigmented that it stained everything. The shampoo, I wouldn't use that daily. I'll talk about how often you should use them in a minute. It's good, it lathers really well. I just wouldn't consider it to be like a totally cleansing, like, you know, deep cleaning conditioner or deep cleaning shampoo. It's more of a, toning one. And then the conditioner is a really great pair with that because I feel like the shampoo on its own, it, if you leave it on long enough, it can help, but I feel like both of them together really helps to make sure that you've got your bases covered. And I feel like some people would want to use the shampoo just on their roots and then use a conditioner just on their ends, you know, so that way the conditioner is not weighing your roots down and, you know, all that stuff. I think they go pretty well together, but you could just buy one or the other. My only qualm with them is that this shampoo, this leaks, but I mean, if you keep it in your shower, it's fine. And with those, you can send the bottles back to Pacifica for their recycling program, just like all their other products. So if you're gonna be sticking with platinum hair, I would use this every two to three washes, depending on how fast you're, it kind of, cause it doesn't always stay, once you use it, it's not like a one and done. You have to keep reapplying the purple because the yellow starts to come back out. So you gotta you know, take care of it. Then probably the best product I've tried in a while, if not ever for my hair at least, is this new Pacifica Moon Cloud Overnight Repair Mask. So this says, beauty sleep for your hair, vegan collagen and hemp without silicones. So I actually haven't used this overnight because I 
don't want to get it on my pillow, but I also, I toss and turn too much, I think, to be able to wear like a shower cap or something over it at night. So I just leave it on during the day or when I'm going to be getting ready for bed or something, then I'll put it on, do my nighttime routine, and then go and rinse it off. But even just after 20 to 30 minutes, I know this says to leave on for a minimum of 20 minutes, even after that, like this stuff is magic. I highly, highly, highly recommend this for using after bleach. Most bleaches that I've, or like the box ones at least, that I have used myself, they all say to follow with a conditioner. The worst part of bleaching my hair, in my opinion, is trying to comb out the knots after I rinse it out. Because if you rinse it out and your head's upside down and then you turn your head right side up, it, just the hair, it's, I don't know how to explain it. It kind of, I guess because the, the hair follicle kind of lifts up, that's how the pigment comes out and it bleaches. I think that makes it stick together like Velcro. It's wild. Um, so prepare for that if you've never bleached your hair before. After you gently comb your hair out with a wide tooth comb, uh, take a dollop of this. Uh, I guess I can show you the texture of it. I don't want to show those purple ones because it's going to get everywhere. And there's a piece of something. I don't know if you can even tell. It's basically like it's not going to run if I do that, but it's just a really thick, like, moussey kind of conditioner, and it smells really good. I'm usually, I don't like scented things, but this I don't mind. So you just put it on. I use about two or three, like, kind of scoops of it, and I'll put it on the ends and then on my roots as well. I would try not to put too so much on my roots because it does, like, conditioner can kind of weigh your hair down. But then you just take it and clip it up with one of those big claw clips and go about your day and rinse it out whenever you want. And it just leaves your hair so smooth and soft. Like when you're rinsing it out, it doesn't feel like it's coming out because your hair is so soft, like immediately. And you can apply it when your hair is dry or wet. And it does not have any silicones, like I said before, which a lot of hair products, especially like those deep cleaning masks, or deep, why do I say deep cleaning, deep conditioning masks, they have silicone in them to make your hair just feel soft instead of actually making it softer. So I highly, highly recommend this new stuff from Pacifica. So those are my tips for taking care of your freshly bleached hair. Let me know if you have any tips in the comments. And you can click up here to watch my most recent video or click over here to watch my how to bleach your hair with less damage video. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss seeing my face in your subscription box every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday at noon Eastern time. And all my links to my social media and everything and all to these products as well will be in the description box. And I will see you guys in the comments. Bye.